Thankfully, it's November, and Appalachian Wireless is offering the Samsung GS8 or the GS8 Plus for $100 off the regular price with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Officials worked throughout the night and early this morning searching for a man who almost hit a police officer head-on while fleeing the scene of a crime. Around 7.30 Thursday night, the Pikeville 911 Center received a call of a possible shoplifter at Walmart. Upon arrival, police say 36-year-old Mitchell Looney of Feds Creek made it to his vehicle and fled. Police immediately began searching for Looney in the surrounding area near Lycans Creek, Thompson Road, and Coal Run Hill. During that search, uh, one of the officers was driving up Lycans Creek and the, the person of interest, the suspect, he, he literally came at him at a high rate of speed, almost striking him head on. Looney then made it to US 23 and crashed into the guardrail near the walking bridge. After the collision, he allegedly exited the vehicle and ran into the Big Sandy River. The officers then lost sight of him and continued to search for several hours. The weather was not cooperating, visibility got really low. We had to call it off for safety issues. We didn't want to take a chance of getting our responders hurt. This morning, crews continued to search for Looney. We've launched a couple boats to the river. We've got crews walking each side of the bank. While searching, the Pikeville 911 Center received a call stating a male subject who fit the description of Looney was allegedly going door to door asking for a ride. The search crews immediately redirected their search, came up off the riverbank, and they located the subject at the Nova Complex. Mitchell Looney was transported to Pikeville Medical Center as a precautionary measure. He has since been lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. He was charged with numerous traffic violations and wanton endangerment. In Pikeville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.